Hey, the Jags. I'm Fia. And I didn't sleep last night. Even with the late start? We're, we're not going to talk about that. Okay, anyways, have you heard of our bowling team's amazing winning streak? 16-0. <laughs> yeah, they're doing crazy good. Now, we will be interviewing one of the fabulous bowlers. Uh, what's your favorite memory from this year on your team? Definitely earning pizza for picking up splits. All right, nice, nice. How do you think you're going to move forward in winning the next competitions? I think we're going to do pretty well, saying that we went in the Tower Classic and also win against those teams. So I think we're going to do pretty well. All right, nice, nice. And then, final question, um, what kind of bowling balls do you use, and what's the next step? A lot. We all have, I have six balls, there's girls that have seven balls on the team, so it just depends on how the oil looks on the lane. But <laughs> and the next step is going to be districts and state. Thank you guys so much for coming on and answering our questions. Wow, such an inspiring interview. And if you want to see more inspiring news, check out Jaguar. You can find tons of different articles about what's going on at ER. If you can't get enough of Emerald Vision, just go to jaguarwire.org to see what's been happening. Or if you just cared about it like a normal amount, like a normal human being, and you missed an episode. Wait, Fia, you've missed an episode? Uh, I missed a couple. I uh, wish I could watch the episodes that I missed. Well, do I have good news for you. All of our episodes are streaming now on YouTube. If your home room teacher doesn't like us, but you do, check out our channel. Jaguar is our school's news organization. What we do there is we report on football games, we introduce kids to other peers' poetry, and we take opinion pieces. Pretty much anything that you want to write and are passionate about is what we'll upload to our website. Uh, my personal favorite project that we've done is we've established at least two different poetry columns for myself and another one of our writers, Ainsley Stilger. Uh, she likes big words and poetry with grace, which is a spin-off of my name. If you're interested in being a part of Jaguar, all you have to do is write something that you're passionate about, send it to Mr. Koshin for revision, and then wait for your piece to be uploaded. That's it. Um, my name is Grace Richards, and if you're interested in writing for the Jaguar, contact either me or Mr. Koshin via Schoology or email. Thank you. Hey Jags, if you're looking for some CTE credits, scan this QR code. Yes, this QR code right here. CTE credits here. Moving on, this week we have Matt Cavanaugh telling you what's the buzz and what's been happening in ER. Let's check it out. Hey Jags, it's me again. These are NFL teams, not high school teams, and you may be asking why I'm doing that, and it's because it's my show and you cannot tell me what to do. Anyways, these are the playoffs. Currently remaining after the first round of the playoffs, we've got the 49ers, Packers, and then the Buccaneers and the Lions, the Ravens and the Texans, and the Chiefs and the Bills. You know, I gotta love CJ Stroud, and I don't really like the Ravens. But I gotta be real. They are winning that one. Chiefs and Bills. I hate Patrick Mahomes. Bills are winning. 49ers and Green Bay Packers. I don't like either of these teams. The 49ers are winning. Obviously, I don't think that's much of a question. I gotta give it to the Buccaneers. They've got a lot of really notable players. I mean, they've got Kyler Murray, Booter Baker, just kidding, those are both Cardinals players. I don't even know who their quarterback is. It's Baker Mayfield, but I had to look that up. Lions are winning. Let's go, Lions. Woo! The San Francisco 49ers versus the Detroit Lions. I got to give it to the San Francisco 49ers. They are an incredible team. Other than that mid-season slump they went through, they just seem to be unstoppable the entire season. Brock Purdy just seemed perfect the entire time. Christian McCaffrey is unstoppable, which is why I got to give it to the Detroit Lions. Let's go Lions. Another win for Jared Goff. They're unstoppable. Woo! All right. Baltimore Ravens versus the Buffalo Bills. This is another situation of the Ravens just seem to be unstoppable, and I don't think Josh Allen will pull it out this time. I think I've got to give it to the Ravens. All right. Super Bowl 58, everybody. The big game. The day where every American across the country decides, you can't tell me what to do, I'm putting an Oreo in the deep fryer. So who's gonna win? The Baltimore Ravens have a stacked offense. I mean, they've got Lamar Jackson, 
other players, probably, I don't know. But the Detroit Lions, they don't really excel at anything. To be honest, they're just pretty good at everything. But I think the Lions want it more. Mainly to keep the murder rate in Detroit down, because if they lose, I'm not sure the city will still be standing. I think I have to give it to the Lions. And I really don't want to see them lose, because I'm not sure anyone in the country will survive. So let's go Lions. They are the Super Bowl champions of Super Bowl 58. Hold on. There we go. Detroit Lions. An amazing video, as always. Very sporty. And now, to finish off this episode, we have yet another interview, but this time with our yearbook team. We've got Asa and Emma answering some questions you guys might have about interview. Yeah. About yearbook. What's the last day to purchase a yearbook? The last day to purchase your yearbook is January 31st, and you can order it online or through Miss Ingle King. How much is it? $65. Ooh, that's a good amount, though. What happens if you miss the purchase date? Well, you might not get one. We sold out the past two years. Mm. Why should someone buy a yearbook? It's a good keepsake. When you're old and you're gray, and you want to look through your high school years, they'll be able to see you and all your friends. That's very true. Who is in the yearbook? Everybody. Everybody? Everybody. Ooh. Have, have we covered it all? Uh, not, not quite, you know. Uh, but we did make a, this awesome, this awesome playlist for, uh -huh. for everybody. Where, where can they find it? Spotify. This, this link right, right here. Right. So go ahead and scan that. Remember, if you need CTE credits, make sure you guys use that QR code. One last thing. It's a very slippery and cold out, so don't slip on the cold. Stay warm like this guy right here. That's all for this episode of Emerald Vision. See you guys in the jungle. Go, Go Jags! Jags!